I bring you greetings from UCLA. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Fight, fight, fight! Cool, so today I have an amazing privilege to introduce to you Xavier Postel. Come on, Xavier! So, he's, um, he's a senior at UCLA studying poli sci. And, uh, bro, I wanted to share a scripture for you. Um, it's in Matthew 9. Where are we at? Matthew 9, verse 35. Jesus went through all the towns and villages, teaching in their synagogues, preaching the good news of the kingdom, and healing every disease and sickness. When he saw the crowds, he had compassion on them, because they were harassed and helpless, like sheep without a shepherd. Then he said to his disciples, the harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. Ask the Lord of the harvest, therefore, to send out workers into his harvest field. Um, and bro, I, I think the biggest thing that... Um, that stuck out, or I think just the biggest thing from studying the Bible with you, man, uh, is just the power of the cross, how it can change anyone. Um, and just being able to reflect on uh, just what our, what our sin did to, to Jesus, um, and just how there's freedom in it. There's freedom in the cross. Uh, we don't have to live with any guilt, any shame. Um, and I think just to see just how hurt the world is, um, but to see your heart to want to help people is so inspiring. Um, it's really changed me, man. Um, and I'm just so excited because, man, you're just, you're a worker. And just almost in every response, uh, in every Bible study, you're like, man, I just want to work. Like, what do I got to do to help people? Like, that's who this man is. This guy's a worker. Um, and I'm really excited for him to just become our brother today. Come Amen. on, dude. Um, Xavier? I am so grateful to call you my best friend. Um, it's just been an honor to see you grow in your relationship with God. And I wanted to read to you Matthew 13, 44, and it says, the kingdom of God, the kingdom of heaven is, the, is like treasure hidden in a field. When a man found it, he hid it again, and then his, in his joy went and sold all he had and bought, it, and bought that field. And when I read the scripture, I think about you because I've seen you just give up everything for the kingdom. And some people might think you're crazy, but Honestly, uh, Xavier, that will not be in vain because mm. the kingdom is the best treasure you could yeah, ever so find. <laughs> this is just the beginning of your journey oh, with God, yeah. <laughs> and I'm excited to see what God has planned yeah. for you, yeah. and I'm excited to finally call you my brother. Come on! Come on. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, I'm just blessed and honored to be able to be here with all of you. I mean, everything that God has given me, he, Jesus sacrificed himself for my sins. <laughs> On top of that, I've continued to sin, and my heart was very hard. Yet God never gave up for me. He was always there waiting with open arms, just waiting for me to come to him. He always spent his time and energy just preparing a place for me. So. I don't think I'll ever be able to pay that off. There's nothing I could offer him. Yeah, come on, dude. But I think the bare minimum that I can do is service. So that's what I'm looking forward to. Doing. Come on, Xavier! <laughs> well, I get to ask you the two most important questions of your life. So do you believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God? He was crucified and on the third day uh, was raised again to life. Yes. Amen. Amen. <laughs> What is your good confession? Jesus is Lord. Come on! So, because of your good confession, we can now baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. All your sins will be forgiven. Uh, you'll get the gift of the Holy Spirit, and your name will be written in the Book of Life. Amen!
sins are